Now let's turn our attention to the final interaction, the three-way interaction between day of week, route, and time of day. Now first I'll say we didn't have evidence for a statistically significant three-way interaction here. So we shouldn't expect that whatever two-way interactions we're looking at depend on the level of the third factor. So let me scroll down and let me show you how Jump is going to show us this interaction. It's down here at the very bottom and I'm going to expand this out so we can see the labels. Now I want you to see what it's done here and I'll scroll down to the bottom so we can see our axis. We have time of day here as the X. You'll see we have separate plots for the different days of week and we have as separate lines the different routes. So what we're looking at in essence is whether the route by time of day effect changes across the different days of week. Now three-way interactions are pretty difficult to see, but let's see if we can do it with jump here by looking across the different days of week and looking at the two-way interactions on the inside. So let's start by looking at Friday and looking at this two-way interaction. Notice that what we generally see is Gilman Drive is relatively flat, Genesee slopes downward, and the other two slope downward as well, but perhaps not as much as Genesee. So that's one two-way interaction at just one level of the third variable, so just on Friday. So if we scroll up to Thursday, do we see generally that same pattern? Well, actually, no, it looks different. So we still see that Gilman Drive is relatively flat, but Genesee has a slightly different pattern. Now, the other two routes sort of match the first pattern we saw, but they're not the same either. If I scroll up to Wednesday, well, Wednesday looks more like Friday. So Gilman Drive actually slopes a little bit up here, so not totally like Friday, but Genesee Drive sloping down and the other two relatively close to each other and sloping down as well. Tuesday has a pattern actually pretty similar to Friday, so Gilman Drive relatively flat, Genesee Drive sloping down, and the other two, La Jolla Village Drive and Nobel, sort of in the middle, also sloping down. And then finally, Monday looks probably the most like Friday, so we have a flat Gilman Drive, a more or less sloped down Genesee, and the other two in the middle, but sloping down, kind of similar to, but less than Genesee Drive, but more than Gilman Drive. So really, the two-way interactions, although they change across the levels of the third factor, across day of week, they're not that different. And that's what the three-way interaction is really capturing. Do we have evidence that the two-way interactions depend on the third factor? Do they depend on the day of week?